Good day to you all guys and girls, this is Mike here at Mike Tender 64 and today um, is a very special day because the Super Mario Maker 2 final content update is out now and it brings some new features including Super World, more power up, the Koopalings, Mecha Koopas and basically we're just going to go through some of that today in this video. So um, let me just go to make. First thing obviously we're going to make is our world, but what I want to do first, if I go here, is take you through what is new with this update. So let's go to the Q&A. Right, so here we are. What new parts are in this update? Version 3.0.0. Now, we have along the top, we've got Super Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros 3, Super Mario World, Super Mario Bros U, and Super Mario 3D World. And then down the bottom is the name of the items, uh, the parts that are available in the update, and what games you can, or what themes you can use them in. So the Super Mario Bros. 2 Mushroom is only usable in the Super Mario Bros. theme. The Frog Suit only usable in Super Mario Bros. 3. The Power Balloon in Super Mario World. Super Acorn in Super Mario Bros. U, or New Super Mario Bros. U. And the other items are available in Super Mario 3D World, which includes the Boomerang Flower, Cannon Box, Propeller Box, Goomba Mask, Bullet Bill Mask, Red Pal Block. Now the Koopalings themselves are only available in the Super Mario Bros up to the new Super Mario Bros U themes. So we've got Larry, Iggy, Wendy, Lemmy, Roy, Morton, Ludwig, Mecha Koopa, and then the Cursed Key is only available in the Super Mario Bros theme the on-off trampoline in the Super Mario 3D world and the dotted line block has now been added to the 3D world theme as well. So, without further ado, let's get to the actual um, creme de la creme of it all, the world maker, which has been added. This is a whole new uh, feature which allows players to create their own worlds. Now this is one that I've already set up and I've already got a couple of levels around. So um, we got up on top of the tower. Let me take that. And what I'll do is I'll add another node up the top here. Let me get rid of that. Can I just take that off? Yeah, there we go. And then I'm just gonna add that on top there. So we've got a couple of uh, toad houses. So that will give people the chance to earn some uh, one ups. Along the left hand side, you can choose your worlds, the worlds that you wanna create, uh, the theme of the worlds as well. Uh, if you want to reset them completely or not, so let's not do that. You can choose the theme. So at the moment I've got the snow theme, but I can choose space, if I want to have a space theme level. Uh, the forest there as well, and you can hear that the music changes in the background as well. So there's sky, there's forest, there's volcano, space, snow, desert, underground and ground. So we're going to use ground to start with for our first level. And then if we go across to world two, We've got an underground theme we can use. So what I'm gonna do is put that there. Oops. Let's go along the top and add that there. No, sorry, let me add that there. Is that to go where I wanted it to go? No, I can't take that one until I take the whole thing. Let me go like that. Let me add that to there. work the way that I'd like it to, is it? Right, okay, so let me take that. And then, because I can't make that go up, and that's what I kind of want it to do, to go up, and it's not going to have it, is it? Right, one moment, let's see if I can move some of this stuff around. Let me take that out of the way for a moment. Move the whole thing over. One, two, three, four, five, 
gonna just bring over bit by bit. Fix that there. And that's not gonna work with that, look. Does not look like it. Okay. So I'll tell you what I will do then. I will stick a tunnel on the top of there. to add a water world there. Where my, where's my water world? There. So then I'm gonna take that and stick you there. And then let me come down. And if I click on the castle, if you hold it down on it, you can set the course. Ah, there we go. So you can choose your courses there. So I'm gonna use Lenny's castle for that one. Okay, so that's my world set up there. Now let's give it all a go. So what I do now is, bear with me. Oh gosh, there we are, better. Right. So we've got back onto our first one now. I'm just gonna save that. At least one course hasn't been uploaded to Course World, so I might not be able to use them yet when I upload this. But not a problem. Here we go. Let's actually play through what we've got. So start off here. My first world is uh, the Builder Mario training course. And now I can get that coin and move on to the end. Hey! And now, as you see, because I cleared the level, it's opened up some new paths. So now I can come up to the top here. I can collect that. Match and win. Yeah. 
I know that's it out. Oh my god, what an abomination. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, moving on. Now, if you press B, it will automatically clear that level, but I don't think you can actually do that when playing Course World online. So, uh, press B just so you can see. Okay, so that's automatically cleared the level. So if you're actually, you know, you've already played your courses a hundred times, you can at least, you know, jump past some levels this way. But I will play this one. The Zelda Bros course, which I created when the last update came out, the 2.0, which introduced a couple of new features as well, including the Master Sword item so that you can change yourself into Link, you can throw bombs, you can fire arrows, you know, that general, that general malarkey, take them out. Also introduced uh, things as well, like uh, the flying platforms, I believe. If you could do that. Uh, the pokies were also included, and then up the top here, they added P blocks. So then you could just do that in my level. Moving on. I can now go to the other Toad House, which will be the same, uh, the match and win. Or I can go into the tunnel and head off to the castle. So I'm going to head off to the castle. We'll play that. So we've got Roy's Castle, M64. I have to reach the goal after defeating all one Roy's. A couple of uh, easy courses to put together. I'm using the Super Mario Bros. 2 theme now, and uh, it's only available in this this theme. So uh, he can actually, you know, pick up creatures now instead of you know killing them. He can actually. Oh yeah. Oh dear. No. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Anyway, I was hoping to throw them at him, but it didn't kind of work out that way, not to worry. But the Super Mario Bros. 2 gives you the Super Mario Bros. 2 theme. Um, Mario, or Luigi, which is who I'm using at the moment. It also works for Toad Air and Toad as well. So now that I've cleared the level, I will then be blasted over to the next world. Here is my next world. So this is my world two, which I put together. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, we're gonna play this level. Go. Boom Boom Kong Arcade M64. Reach the goal without taking damage. Oh dear, it's been a while. <laughs> but if I remember correctly, I'm going to see if I can clear it again, and if I Oh, 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Moving on. And now this is the final part. Now I can't jump on them. I have to go up. He will then disappear. He will fall down. And then I'm going to come up. to my uh, water themed level as you can see Luigi will actually you know swim across there so I'm gonna play this one. Uh, this is set in the Super Mario Bros 3 theme. Well uh, I called it Froggy Water World because now you got the frog suit. I uh, thought you know I'll create a level so you can actually use the frog suit in it. Idea is to get all the coins. So much easier to actually, you know, navigate around in the water world, in the water theme. Because now you haven't got to keep hitting the jump button to, you know, get lift, or to, to swim up rather. Now you can just move in any direction that you want. Now I've got them, I can move on to leaving the level. It's not exactly easy to control when on land, though. Nice. There we go. Right, now what I'm going to do here this time is I'm going to just clear. So we can actually continue on. That opens up to the next path. So then now I can go down the pipe, pop up the other side, and then move on. And you just see little uh, Princess Peach uh, jump out there then. To the Super Bell Hill. Okay. Oh yes, this was my uh, not so faithful recreation of Super Bell Hill. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to... To the castle. Let's see if uh, she appears again. Did she appear? Okay. Oh, 
There she did. She just appeared then. Right, so I've got to kill all the Larrys now. And this time I've gone to the new Super Mario Bros. You being now allows you to use the Super 8 thing. That's beaten. And of course, I've now realised that I've put in Larry and I've actually called the course Lemon. So I will have to rename the course before I upload it, obviously. But there you have it. So that was uh, clearing that world there. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video and you'd like to see more of our content, then please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mike10.64 Gaming. You can also stay up to date with all the latest news, reviews, personal views, interviews, giveaways, and so much more at www.mike1064.com. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and we're also on Tumblr as well. And I will also be uploading another video very shortly, playing some of the other super worlds that are out there on Super Mario Maker 2. So thank you very much, everyone, and until next time, keep on gaming. <laughs>